Tell us a little bit about Underwater, the ultrasound training game that you've developed. Uh, Underwater is a serious game designed to teach the beginning users of ultrasound the fundamentals uh, while allowing intermediate users to measure their skill level and compare it to pros or uh, their uh, peers. It is a, a game in which you search the bottom of the ocean instead of uh, the or real organs of a person to provide a fun play playing field where you can fail without consequence. We are still developing it and testing it with the local hospital who provide us with the medical uh, knowledge that is required to create such a game and we create the levels and the content around it, basically around their user case, so to say. What inspired you to create a game to train ultrasound technique? Well, we, uh, Tony and I, both are uh, from the same school where we did the study uh, communication systems with the major game design and development. And what you do in that study is that you use games as a medium for more than just entertainment. So learning uh, instructions and uh, medical training are all blended inside uh, game design and development. So we did a bachelor thesis at the UMCG, which is the universal, uh, universal Medical Center in Groningen. So we did our uh, thesis there and uh, the radiology department came with us with the question of how can we make the echo stage, that is the first 10 weeks of the uh, becoming a radiologist, the entire, uh, the entire track, so to say, how can we make that part more fun? And after some uh, interviews and some research, we found out that is a very strange way that they uh, train it at the moment, because the, the way they do it now is they first watch a doctor perform the ultrasound the first time, then they do it themselves. And then after they do the test, they, uh, they get feedback. So it's very indirect. Uh, and in games, it is very, you always get direct feedback. That is part of the, that's part of the game. You always know what your actions do. That makes it a very easy way to learn new things because you immediately know if something went wrong and what it was and how you can improve on it. So we made a, a small prototype during our uh, bachelor thesis. And after we completed the, the thesis, the projects, we decided to pick up on the project because both the hospital and uh, ourselves, we thought it, it had very much potential. And now we, are, now we are creating the business case around it and showing it to as many people as we can and uh, trying to build our business around it. What did the development process itself look like? Uh, did you work with any ultrasound experts? I think you covered some of this, but did you work with any ultrasound experts in consultation and, and, and what did that look like? Yeah, so uh, basically we don't have much uh, knowledge of ultrasound. So we went to the hospital for their expertise and they came up with a list of problems they encountered during their training. So what kind of troubles there are training the, training the new students. And most of it was hardware handling. So we went to one of the radiologists and he went through a procedure and we got the difficult parts he mentioned. We put that uh, as levels in the game. We are a very uh, strong believer of do what you like and what you can and let the others perform their skill, their expertise. So we make the, the game and all the medical knowledge comes from the universities or the hospital or any other training center there is where we uh, go to to demo our product. We went to an, uh, well, the emergency service of a hospital. They are in Holland. They're now 
trying to re-educate them to use ultrasound in a in the fast method that is some points on the body that you check in a certain protocol and we are trying to create a way where our game can pinpoint how good you are at that protocol and where you need to improve so that's uh, also a part where we basically change the prototype in a way that they can use it to yeah to speed up their training or to better comprehend what skill what skill people have because it's very difficult to look at someone and say well you are uh you are good enough to perform on uh you are good enough to perform those ultrasounds yourself what they do now is that they have to do a certain amount but as you probably know some people learn faster than others and others slower so this is a very there's, there's a variation in there and that is something that the game can really pick up on what are some of the key features of the game and how do you think it can impact uh, ultrasound training one of the key features of course is that it's a fun thing to do so motivation is a very strong uh very strong part of it um the what also a computer can do better than uh, the person is to indicate what kind of skill someone uh, someone has. So it can pinpoint the problems you would have with performing uh, certain procedures that uh, a trainer might see but might not be uh, totally clear about where the problem lies or when you perform the, the mistake. We also think that the the part that it is not a real body, but it is an, uh, another dimension, another world. Um, underwater, it's very, it's usually very dark, but we created a very colorful, colorful world. So that is very appealing to play. And we are creating puzzles that you can uh, solve in there. So we really want to keep the player busy and make them solve puzzles in a way that they also train their ultrasound skill so they won't know they're training it but the computer will tell them how they performed and they also will be able to to perform better on real patients or their education afterwards tell us about your participation at the wcume in uh, taking place in montreal this october at the moment it is a, a workshop that we will be uh, attending and will be showing off the game and we're also looking at, looking forward to to a space where we can uh, put the device to let people we, we basically want to create some sort of tournament we want to we want to measure the layman's versus the pros and see how they can compete on the on the prototype game and it would be really funny to see some some kind of daily leaderboard where people can win a prize and show off their their skills in in our game that would be really nice absolutely yeah i mean ultrasound is uh looks like a ton of fun so uh so it looks like you guys are really kind of going after that component as well and and, and kind of gamifying the learning experience so i think uh, wcme is going to be a great uh, platform for that competition is a very nice nice thing to use in learning and so finally, where can people go to get more information or to watch uh, demos or if they're interested in, in pursuing or, or talking to you more about your, your, your product, uh, where can they go um, to get more information if they can't catch you at WCME 17? Well, they can, uh, when they are in the, the Netherlands, they can, uh, they can go to Groningen and uh, give us a call, uh, drop by. <laughs> would be lovely. We also uh, have a Facebook page uh, where we reply on uh, questions and such, and you can find more information on our website, uh, sphinxgames.com. And we basically reply to all the emails we get and uh, questions on the email info at sphinxgames.com. Yeah, and on our website, you will also find uh, the demo video we talked about. Uh, in, in it, you can see uh, some of the gameplay of the game and uh, get a better better feel for what the product actually is and what its intended use is. Fantastic. Well, thank you both so much uh, for your time, and we'll definitely put out some uh, links and, uh, and make sure people can get to you.